we start recording for YouTube. Alright, I really apologize <clears throat> for being so behind. I'm taking the day off tomorrow to watch um the bomb slip broadcast of the P Iris League Pro Series. So, yeah, just don't stream till all night. But, I'll be hosting it if you just want to watch, like, a more relaxed vibe. You can watch it from my point of view, but, um... Obviously, so, and we'll be off Wednesday, because that's my normal day off. So, after tonight, we'll be back Thursday. Alright, but, this is a very important message. If this is hashtag back on track, how do we get hashtag back on track? Um, we social distance, and we were able to, um... Grab. So just as we got blue jackets, one clean. What do I gotta wash from? Um, I know I have a blue jackets one somewhere. I'll screw it, just use this Jets one. And, and public career masks. Um, if you follow my writer's page, it was actually that bad when you mask to the um, middle heart races. The only time I took it off was to eat, but um, it actually made it easy to social distance. They had like orange boxes. But, anyways, let's well, have to talk about the Turkish Grand Prix because that's what you're here for. Um, it was a really good race, now that I look back on it. Um, thank you to Finky Newtons and Brent. I don't, Finky Newtons is out to auto-host, thank you. I don't know why Twitch just have alerts for auto-hosts. And I know you're at work, Brent, but thank you for auto-hosts. We need alerts for auto-hosts. We also need our host to work faster because I've been live for seven minutes and I don't know when the auto host went up. But anyways. <coughs> yeah, I know the camera's kind of weird, but I need to get a new webcam, which I'm probably going to get now that I have a little more money for bank. And I had to spend some of it because I can't go to 2000. But that's because of social security. But anyways, back on topic. I remember back last week I actually picked Max. No, I picked Lewis when I'm pretty sure. I was looking at it, but. Uh, oh, excuse me. But based on quality, I thought Max was going to win. I knew Lance Stroll got pulled, but. I didn't think he was going to have one of the worst starts I've seen from him ever. I mean, in Max's defense. It, it it was raining. Had show notes, but I was kind of half awake, so I really didn't take that good show notes. So I'm just gonna forego the show notes for this week. But two weeks we'll have um show notes. All right. So now that we only have Formula One, okay. I'm making announcements after stream or after I get done talking racing. But anyways, yeah. I, it was a good race. Um, way back in February, I saw this coming. I saw Lewis winning his seventh championship. I even remember saying, who's really going to stop him from winning the championship? <laughs> and I was right. If the only person who could stop him was Nico Rosberg. He did, and he retired. Um, so... Yeah, I was going to show you Blue Jackets mask, but I don't know if we need it clean right now. But anyways, point remains, wear a mask. Um... Yeah. The interesting thing was, it was the track was so slippery, greasy, however you want to put it. 
that it was the wets became slicks or intermediates, excuse me, not wets, because of the where if the grooves are only supposed to last like I think Pirelli said like sixteen laps max. So we all know Lewis can drive without tires. Hacky won Silverstone. Was it first or second race Silverstone? I'll throw it up. He won all the Silverstone races on free tires. So we all know that Hamilton does need four tires to win the race. Yeah, and oh my gosh, I'm so happy for Vettel. I'm so glad he got the podium. I think for the most unfortunate person, more of a bad has to stroll. But I think it was just an experience of tire management. I mean, he took up points, but not as many points as he wanted, or his first career win in Formula 1. He's prob I think he won for FT Championship, don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's so weird to see yourself talk. And then, like, fight, like, three seconds later, you see that. But anyways, yeah, it was, it was a good race. Um, not the best of the year. I still would probably put that as a Monza. Maybe the season opener. Um, yeah. So your podium was. No, let's talk more about the race. Um, I think Turkey should stay on the counter. Yet la yesterday he had to take a nap, but it was totally worth it if Turkey's gonna produce that much unpredictability. Because I I did not think Fed was gonna get podium this year. I thought he was gonna go out from Ferrari with no podiums. But that proved me wrong. And, um... Perez getting a podium was awesome. Um, apparently, Vettel is Mexican. <laughs> I, 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 in the Discord, we were talking about that. So, just like, no uh, potential order, but the typical F1-1 is first uh, middle. Second to the left, third to the right. So, yeah. Um. Alright. So, we gotta. You can tell why I'm not on dark mode, because you can just see it on my face from the second monitor. Which is what I use for my podcast, so I'm looking directly at the camera. Which I'm going to address with a new webcam soon. So it's going to go on my main monitor. Which is... Just a year old. And this one is six years old. Five, sorry. It's 2020, not 2021 yet. Will we be fans of 2021? I don't know, but that's another topic for another podcast. Um... Yeah, the I think the main problem was the lack of grip, but Lewis Hamilton was able to adjust his spacecraft to overcome that, and like stroll and tire management. But stroll, he, hopefully he gets tire management better. But you gotta remember, he is how old is Lance Stroll? He is only 22 years old. I am older than Lance Stroll, so you gotta remember, he is... When it comes to former the drivers, he is a baby compared to some of the drivers. Think he made his debut 2017? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, when I first started watching F1, he made his debut. And I don't... And he was 18? And he just turned 22 last month. He has to have been 22 for a month. So you can't get mad at 
I know he's I know he's upset, but he's just gotta. I doubt he'll ever see this, but if he does, see Jesse, do Lance. If you ever see this, <sighs> take a breath. You're 22. You have a great future ahead of you. I doubt he's gonna see this, but I still feel like saying this. Just relax. Your first one will come eventually. But anyways. The track technically never dried, even though you could see visible dry lines. It was just the tarmac was so oily that you really, really couldn't um, get good grip. And it was um, kind of a disaster like my hair right now. I apologize. I didn't realize my hair was that bad. But it did make for somewhat of interesting grace. It's a good one, but I don't think it was top three. Uh, sorry, my mom just messaged me on Messenger. Probably have to touch my phone a little bit. Um. But anyways. Uh, oh, excuse me. I apologize. Yeah, your podium was uh, uh, Hamilton. Uh, Perez. That's right. And Vettel. So, pretty good podium, if I could English. And some news out for NASCAR side. Um, John Hammond Nemechek. It's apparently um, leaving his team. Uh, if I could English, that if I could spell, that'd be good. So it doesn't feel real if I chase one of the championship, but um. He's leaving front row motorsport after this year. Sorry, my cat distracted me. I got ADHD. Probably gonna talk to my uh doctor about going back on ADHD meds, but um. Yeah, and apparently NASCAR is doing a digital or a virtual banquet this year. So. Jeff Gordon made his debut 28 years ago yesterday. My favorite NASCAR driver. Huh? So yeah, um, Andy Cross at least season is really insane this year. He lives to Meyer Shank. I don't. I would say Scott McLaughlin, but. He, I, I don't know if it's because it's silly season. Because technically Scott McLaughlin are races for Penske. But it's technically his first full season. And we have a free. Um, I think he'll do much better. When he did, um. Last time out. And I am hoping we get fans back at races. Or all races, because I really can't say. Oh, no, most, because I was at a middle high race, so I really can't say. We didn't have fans at most races. Um, limited attendance, but I got my tickets for my dad as a Christmas gift. 
so it was free sale tickets and then whatever was left up to six thousand per day. I had weekend tickets, so I got to go to both. That's fun. Herda and Power won those races. Um we're with a gate we go in because it's like for easy to get in. You can sit at turn one or you can walk a little bit and sit between the keyhole and the S's. That's straight. Which is actually we start straight for Indy cars. I don't know about the Xfinity series because I really have a lot of Xfinity series races where I need to. I want to see that person. Because I live in Ohio. But anyways, enough fanboying on my home track. Yeah, um, let's see if I can find any Indy Cart news to talk about before we wrap up for tonight. It looks like there's really not much besides what we covered last week with Helio Goats and Meyer Shank. And then talks about last the end of of her race um I don't remember we covered it but Carvana is gonna be Jimmy Johnson's um sponsor for the road and street races he's gonna do which I think actually gonna be harder for him than ovals to be honest Especially, like, Toronto, if it don't cancel it again because of COVID. Which, people who organize Toronto also um, organize my home race. So, Green Sail Vody, thank you so much if any of you are reps are watching this. That was awesome. Thank, and thank you, Governor DeWine. Got to probably reelect him. But this is not a political thing. Um... Yeah, so really not much more indie card news. <laughs> um like Andrade Autosport is really saying the same. Rossi, Hunter Ray, Herda, and McLaren is Patricia O'Rourke and Felix Sosequist. Now, this is according to Wikipedia. I don't know how accurate this is. Because we all know. <laughs> oh, that must make Jimmy Johnson feel uh, old to have an arm by him. Um, Chip Ganassi only has one added driver and it's a uh it's jimmy he's gonna be 48 but marcus erickson is gonna move to them so i take it it's two new drivers wait was marcus erickson with him am i putting my paw in my mouth No, he's still with him. I'm not putting my paw in my mouth. Yes, I had to say paw because I'm a furry. But anyways, um, yeah, we've been a while brand on furries on Twitch, but it wasn't. But anyways. And then whoever is filling in for him when he's not doing for ovals. And a carpenter, which I think a carpenter only does ovals. But whoever that is. Right is VK. It's going to be a different car. Meyer Shank Racing is going to be, like I said, Helio. Ah. Uh, and Jack Harvey. Ray Hall, Linda May Ligon, and Ray say, Boy, that's a mouthful to say. They are saying the same. Sotold and Ray Hall. Graham. Um, obviously. Um, Pinsky is the same as... I guess because Scott has completed a full season. He's so technically a rookie, which actually makes sense. Um... Say it's the same, obviously, besides McLaughlin for Penske. And those are your teams. Oh, AJ4 is going to have Sebastian Bidwell 8. 
for day. Glad to see him after some horrible crashes. I must. But who I really want to see get a big ride is oh my God, Jason Hinchcliffe. How could I? I can't believe I forgot, almost got him. Hinchcliffe needs a full-time ride. Someone give Hinchcliffe a full-time ride. I, he is literally the key to success in Canada. Everyone who wins for Canadian Grand Prix, for Toronto, Tunisio, and for Toronto Street Race, for, 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 excuse me, I can guarantee you, 90% were Hinchcliffe fans and 10% were rest fans. So I think Hinchcliffe is a key for the Canadian market. And we need to go to second Canadian race, like Edmonton. Bring back the Edmonton race. I love the Edmonton race. It was a second race that took place at an airport that wasn't Cleveland. I don't, but I think... I think what killed it was low attendance. Yeah, they last ran in 2012. How it used to be sponsored by Rexall. So if it has a big backing, so like Rexall, you know, Rexall plays, Oilers, all that stuff. What happens to just place? I really want them to bring it back. Uh, and look all the young, some of the young guns. Huh. A tennis actually wasn't that bad. They estimate the peak was 2,000 and the lowest was 160,000. That is near Indy 500 levels. So, I think Canadians love IndyCar as much as I love IndyCar. So why if they don't have two races? I don't know! Bring back race to Edmonton! Bring back the Edmonton IndyCar race. I loved it. Get, get the big... Get, 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 get Connor McDavid to be a Grand Marshal. Get Hinchcliffe a ride. So that way, fans have incentive to go. They they say, ooh, look, they look up driver's lineup, they see Hinchcliffe, they see the Canadian flag next to him. That will be incentive for people to go to that race, but... Yeah, um, I, I'm not going to make my Bahrain predictions until next week. So, the key point... In tonight's podcast, it's Lewis Hamilton's the greatest of all time. We need two Canadian races in Indy Car. Jay Chase should come back. And I'm so much shocked that Chase is the champion. Um, yeah. But I think that would do it for tonight. When well, it's one race, there's really not much to talk about. But. Once everything's like kind of off season, we'll talk more about the off season stuff. So, for now, this is Canvas Jackrabbit signing off. God bless. <laughs> Excuse me. I still believe I Jesus Lord. And I will see you Thursday, where we start season two of My Team Mode on Formula One 2020. Um. Right, if you're watching YouTube, the video stops now.